Created in Kentucky, Clayton and Kroom has built its brand on selling leather products. We set out to make something better than the things we could find on the market, and that's what keeps us going day to day. Business hasn't been booming these past few weeks because of the coronavirus. It was a big blow to our business, but it was a big blow to everyone's business. But then an idea came. Co-founders Clay Simpson and Tyler Jury thought of creating these face shields using FDA-approved plastic. Clay and I, what we've learned over the past eight years since we started in our dorm room in college is we know how to make things. We know how to design, we know how to manufacture, we know how to assemble. It started as a simple gesture, create a couple hundred face shields to provide to health workers in the area during this pandemic. We know everyone's reusing their N95 masks. This provides an additional barrier over the top. So if people are reusing their masks, they're not exposed to the aerosols and splatter. But thanks to the power of social media, word spreads fast. In a matter of days, the state of Kentucky requested the company make more than a half a million face shields. Oh, it was insane. Yeah, it was totally insane. With the demand now being there, they had to find a large enough site for mass production. Within that, they also plan on hiring a couple dozen workers. A lot of people are laid off right now. They're not working, and so we're bringing people into an environment that's considered an essential business at this point in time. With requests from government agencies and health groups around the country, the owners say they have the resources in place to make a difference in the fight against COVID-19. It's all coming together, and uh, we have the runway in front of us to be able to make a whole lot of masks. Shaquille Lord, WLKY News.